Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the Paint Kiwis Trust for years and years. Women's World Cup is coming to the shores of Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana Wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of Wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars. The power of opportunities, Faka Mana. Partnerships, Mana Natahi. Pathways, Ada. And Tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. And we're live here at Main Power Stadium. The play is getting underway slightly early. Be a lot of time, and it's the Pride who are getting into their work early. Starting lineups here for both sides. Mackenzie Falcon goal for the Pride. Serena Patel, Firth, Morrow, Nicholson. And for Southern United, it's Amy Amelia Simmons in goal. Maudsley, Nicholson, Body, and Diaz. There's a shot drafted wide there from the Pride. Unfortunately, we weren't able to bring you the coaches' interviews. Ran out of time there. Of course, this is the first of Southern United women's site in this Ford Super League. Up against multiple time champions in the Pride. As they look to get into their work from the back here. Maudsley now on the ball. Far side for Nicholson. Pressure coming here from the Pride now. To get out of the press, it's Diaz now working forward. Good pull forward here, but it's going to roll out. And that will be a kick in on the far side. Good to be back here. Playing futsal in the mainland region. Slight hiatus for both of these sides in last year's competition. It's just a shortened format. 
lap of it as Nicholson now plays near side for Morrow. Bit of space for her. She drives that ball down the line for Patel. Drops it back and the shot comes in, but that's high and wide of the target. But both of these sides didn't take part in the competition last year. It's just a few rounds with sides from the north as Diaz tries to get around there, but Morrow forces out of court. And it will be a kick in on this near side. Coach Arnon Tap while well, Southern United was discussing some of these players have just come together with the university set up. A few of the players just meeting today, in fact. Oh, it's good to see them out on the court. Has a chance here for Patel, and she can't just bring that one under control. And it will go out of court for a kick in on this near side. This is strong starting five here as Patel. Bit of space shoots, good save there. Chance there for Morrow on the follow up, it's still there for the Pride, but Diaz comes away with it. They'll be out of court on the far side. A lot of experience in this four around the court. As well as Falco and goals. Morrow gets a shot away, but straight at the keeper. And she rolls near side here for Maudsley. But again, the Pride take possession of the ball. Nicholson tries to find the feet there of Patel, but broken down by Southern United. Uh, work their way out from the back here, driving forward. Uh, there's a bit of a collision there, but it's chance here for the Pride. Good shot, good save there from the keeper. And it was Firth that got a bit of space and just pushes that to the right of oh, Simmers. She forces that out for a corner. Far side now, Nicholson. Bit of space for her. She puts it forward there for Morrow. Still Nicholson now, but Southern United come away with a chance on the break here. That ball just wasn't quite right there as Body settles it back down here for Nicholson. Near side now for Diaz. Southern United starting strong here. Far side for Maudsley. Diaz drives into the half here. And she gets around Firth, but good recovery there from the number six. And it will be out of court on this near side. First three minutes this time, as soon as the ball goes out of play. The clock will stop. There's a chance here for Morrow. She tries forward. Chance here to get around the keeper. And she goes through the legs. And that's in. Great finish there from Morrow. Pounced on the loose ball. And took her chance. And it's 1-0 here to the Pride inside the first four minutes. Just a loose pass there from Southern United. And Morrow reacted early and a big shoulder in, but Diaz does well here on Patel, but she works hard to get it back and it will be the Pride who settle it down here. Far side with Nicholson, Firth, centre court, Serena Patel. And she gives that away and a good run here from Body, but double team there, but she's still got the ball chance here for Diaz, but a good challenge there from Patel. Had to be made and she comes away with it and just slows it down. Coach Ronan Nike did mention, two-time MVP. And also, of course, member of the Misfits Wednesday night mixed social futsal side. And there's a chance here again for the Pride. Nicholson toes, but good block there. Still there for Nicholson. Chance as good save there from Simmers. She came out and she got big quickly. And there's Body now. Forced out of court on the far side. Coach Arnon Tap, happy with the way Southern United have started. It's a strong five on the court for the Pride. As we see a couple of players looking ready to get up there next to Arnon Tap. It will be a kick in as Firth now. Finds the feet of Nicholson who tries to get around. It was Nicholson as well. Right, it's out of court for a kick in on this near side. And there's a shot driven and back post that no one can get onto it and Southern United will come away with it. Body now. Can't get round Firth and it will be with the pride again as Nicholson will work it out from the back. Moving the ball nicely here are the pride. 
Southern United guilty of giving possession away too much. And there's a ball through the middle there from Nicholson trying to find the feet of Patel. Easy pickings there for Simmers. Nicholson. Diaz. Gets round Morrow. Good run here from Diaz. Drops it back here for Body. Bit of space for her. Forced across the court. Good pressure there. Diaz now. Nicholson. Tries to turn around Patel, but falls there for the feet of Morrow, who just sends that out of court on this near side. Good crowd in here today, if you are out in the area. Main Power Stadium, men kicking off at 2 p.m. local time. And we come back tomorrow and do it again, starting from 10 a.m. As Patel now flicks forward for Morrow. Good ball back. Can she get the shot away? Does, but a good save again there from Simmers. And she forces that one out of play for a corner. Has a shot driven in here from Nicholson, back post, but just wide of the target. And as we just see a change here, it's Nielsen now onto the court for Southern United in the number 15, as well as Tess Fountain. As we are seeing some changes now for this pride site. It's Fisher. And Merkin onto the court, replacing, looks like, Borrow and Patel. Breather for them. And Southern United force that ball forward, but Falco, happy to see that one roll out of court. Far side down for Fur. Bit of space now for Fisher. And she puts that back. Pressure coming now from Southern United. Nicholson turns well, drives into the half. Finds the feet of Merkin, who just drops it back for Firth. And as they search for that ball through the middle, finding the feet of Nicholson, but it's full in here for Des Fountain, who just drops it back to Nielsen. And good work there from Nicholson as she beats two. But the pride getting back early and getting into defensive formation. Six and a half minutes gone here in this first half. 1-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Plenty of chances so far for the Pride. And Southern United trying to find a way back into this game. Pressure coming now from the Pride. As Diaz tries to get round one. Near side here for Des Fountain. Bit of room for her to move. She drives around. Can she get the shot away? Good block there from... I think that was Firth. As it will be Fisher now, far side. And she comes here for Merkin. Just fountains look good as she's come on the court. The number eight for Southern United. Fisher now. Uses Merkin on the far side, back again for Fisher. Firth, good movement here from the Pride. Nicholson, Diaz coming forward on her, gets a shot away, good block there from Diaz. That looked to be going on target, will be a goal kick. As it looks like Verovis onto the court. As a shot comes in, and Nicholson trying to find the feet there. Oh, I think it's Myers. Back post. Rachel for Brody onto the court now as well for the Pride. And I think Empson as well for Southern United. 
And she is on the ball now. As Brody comes forward, drops it back to the keeper. Good movement here from Southern United. Far side now. Ebsen. As the Pride come away with it and just rolls out of touch on the far side. Will be a kick in for Southern United. As Fisher comes away from the challenge. And it's Myers who can't get that one in. Now the court for a kick in on this near side. Well, for a team that hasn't had that many training sessions. I can't mention two of them. They're looking all right at the moment, Southern United. And there's a chance here for Brody. As Southern United survive, but it's still here with Brody and a good save there from Simmers. As Brody just can't get around. And another good save from the number one. She's looked strong so far. Amelia Simmers in goal. And there's another shot coming in here from Merkin. It's high and wide of the target. It will be a keeper's ball. Oh, it's just fantastic to see Southern United women's side in this competition. It's been a, a long time coming. Oh, great to see them at this tournament. Yeah, there's a bit of space now for the Pride as they drive forward. Chance back host here for... Brody, but she can't just get that one on target. It was a delightful ball there from Fisher. And as Simmers goes long here for Des Fountain, but finds its way to Falco. And as Fisher now can get the shot away, does so, but again, high of the target. Creating a few opportunities now. Uh, the Pride. As Empson sends that one away. Looks like it will be a kick in on this near side. Look at the moment. The Pride are just holding position a little bit better than Southern United. Defending well though. It's a well drilled side that Ronan Nyker has put out and a good challenge there from Jess Fountain. But again falls for the Pride. Brody now steps inside. Good defence again. Far side now for Myers. She comes centre court, near side now for Brody. Gets round one, lays it off again for Myers. And a good interception there from this fountain. Vervis now. Tries to send far side, it's fallen here for Southern United, but Myers is on it. And that's out of court. Southern United ball. There's changes now. It's come on by, come on by, sorry. Onto the court and on the ball now. And again, position broken down. And there's Southern United. Court napping almost, but they've escaped this one. And it is Maudsley now on the ball, far side, but a good challenge there from Brody. Takes it out of court and wins the kick in for the Pride. Merkin. Brody. Moving the ball here nicely out of the pride. Brody again. Can she get that back post? Good block there from Ebsen. And it's out of court for a corner ball by the looks of things. Shots heavily in favour of the pride at the moment. Just a bit of water on the court by the looks of things. Yes. Referee Chris Sinclair, New Zealand's premium futsal referee, jogs onto the court to wipe it up. As yes, we're going to get back underway here. Ten minutes gone in this first half. 1-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Myers, Brody. Brody again. Chance here for the Pride, but again wide of the target. 
They're creating the opportunities, but they just can't seem to find the back of the net at the moment. Can the pride? And Southern United hold on again. Near side now for Ibsen. Come on by, can't get around. Chance again for a challenge there from Ibsen. As Myers now comes away with it, but again, good challenge there from Kumumbai. And there's a bit of a strong set there kicking. Brody blocks, it's out of court on this near side. Again, Southern United turn possession over. And Coach Arnon Tap will look to try and hold on to the ball a little bit more in that second half. The press isn't really coming from the pride. And there's a chance here for Brody. Good challenge again. It's uh, for a corner, I believe. We'll chalk that one down as another save for Simmers. She's been big in goal so far. Plenty of action down her end of the court. And there's a set place play here for the Pride. Nicholson in a bit of space. Gets round one. Flicks it through, but again, good defence there from Southern United. Merkin. Fisher, far side for Nicholson. Chance again there for Merkin, but off target. There's Diaz back onto the court for Southern United. And it looks like Nicholson coming onto the court as well. There's possession. Lost again there from Southern United. There's a long throw here for Brody, but she can't bring that touch under control. And Simmers jumps on that loose ball, throws it forward. Fisher. Drops back for Merkin. Far side now for Nicholson. And she can't get around. Gumumbi on the far side. Runs out of court. Eight and a half minutes remaining in this first half. 1 0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Has pushed forward here for DS, but seen out there by Merkin. The keeper's ball. Nicholson now in a bit of space. Can she bring this under control? Centres the ball. Chance here for Brody. And it was Abby Nicholson who came sliding in but couldn't keep it under control. And an easy tap in there for Rachel Brody. Makes it 2-0 here in favour of the Pride. As she takes a seat and is replaced by Firth on the court. Wooden passage of play here for Southern United now that way. They go down another goal before half time. Just a bit guilty of throwing away possession. Nicholson now down the line here for Fisher. Gets a shot away, but again, flashes across the face of goal. No one there to collect it. it looks like it's out of court on the far side for a kick in. There's Southern United go long, but Nicholson gets a foot to that and Pride in control of the ball again. Far side now for Merkin. Firth. Nicholson v Nicholson. And it's put under a bit of pressure there. And it will be a kick in on this near side for Southern United. Nielsen now oh, back on the court. Diaz. Nielsen near side for Nicholson. This is better from Southern United. Good defence there from Fisher. Nicholson walks the ball forward. Tries to find the feet of body, but she can't bring that one under control. This changes again here for the Pride. Oh, 
And Stewart. Number 18 on the court. And I think Jackson on the far side. There's Jackson now in position. Firth, near side for Nicholson. Jackson's come across, dances around. Can't find a way through as Diaz comes forward. Good pressure from her, but can't get around Nicholson. There's no foul called by the referee. As Body does well. Nicholson fighting hard. No battle out there. As Diaz now tries to step inside, but loses control of the ball. It'll be the Pride who come away with it again. Firth, far side now for DeWitt. Just happy to pass the ball around at the moment. Uh, the Pride. As tries to find the feet there. Chance here for Body. As she pushes that one out wide on the far side. Will be a kick in for the Pride. As Firth now. Plenty of time for her. Southern United happy to sit back and defend inside their own half. Jackson. Back to Firth. Far side now for DeWitt. Nicholson. Diaz comes forward on her. Good ball down the line here. Does well to get round one. Can she find the centering ball? Does so, but again. Jackson can't get on that one. Number of opportunities across the face of goal. Southern United trying to play long. Not better when they play that ball on the ground and look to beat players. Here's Diaz now. Defensively well set up to the Pride. There's Jackson now. DeWitt far side. As they slow it down, far side for Firth. She'll use Nicholson on this near side. Good challenge there from Nicholson. Out of court for a kick in on the near side. Five minutes, 20 remaining. 2-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Nicholson. Can't get round Nicholson. Before he went to blow his whistle, but decided against it as Diaz. Bit of space, but it's Nicholson now. She's got space. Nicholson v Nicholson. And it's Southern United Nicholson that comes away with it. Uh, good tracking back there from DeWitt. And forces the error. And it will be a kick in on the far side. As Brittany Lee Nicholson takes a break. Replaced by Patel. Firth. Do it. Firth again. Good interception there by Body. Can't keep it in. And it will be pride ball on the far side. Patel, as she gets round Nicholson, good move there, DeWitt flicks it forward, good interception there from Diaz, still going as Diaz, but it'll be a kick in there for the Pride, as Firth, looks on, good move there from Patel, still going, drops it off, chance here for Patel, and of course just behind her, can they get a shot away here, the Pride, good defence there from Southern United as Diaz comes away with it, drives into the half, has body there, but again, Firth comes forward with it, chances at both ends now, can Firth get the shot away, does, blocked there by Southern United, Look, it was Nielsen that got it, and it's out of court for a kick in on this near side as DeWitt, shapes to shoot but drops it back and it will be another kick it, but in favour of Southern United. Good work there from Nicholson. And Southern United go long, but it's out of court again as DS comes for a break. Replaced by McLean. Let's do it now. Near side for Patel. Patel, Jackson, DeWitt, Patel far side now, 
Jackson, good movement here from the Pride. Trying to break down the Southern United defence. Three and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Good work here from Nielsen, who comes forward body, slows it down. It will be Nicholson now on the far side for Southern United. And as McLean drops it back to a keeper, who sends that one out of court. Kick in for Patel. There's ball there from, I think it was Jackson. Can't find the feet of Patel and it will be a kick in for Southern United. And she manages to keep that one in there. Just flirted with the line. As Jackson being put under all sorts of pressure but manages to come away with it. Patel, bit of space for her to turn. Comes forward. Finds the feet off to it on the side side. Cuts inside, good block there from I think that's Gumumbi. Run by, sorry. And wins the kick in on the far side. And there's too much pressure there for Nielsen. And she's forced to kick that out of court far side. Changes here for Pride, Yick and Perrett. On to the court as well. This is Yek far side. Gets round body, but it's out of court. And we'll see Brownlee onto the court for the first time for Southern United. Two minutes 42 remaining here in this first half. 2-0 the scoreline. And Blaine Power Stadium out in the Rangi Ora. This first game of the day, the men kick off at 2 p.m. Canterbury Dragons taking on the Sub United men side. Yes, Patel does well here. Bit of space for her. She's got Yek. Doesn't use it. Shoots. Could save. Chance again, but just couldn't get under that one there. Could Fisher. And chips it up wide of the target. Plenty of opportunities been created from the Pride, but only two in so far. As McLean can't keep that one under control. Patel. Nice nutmeg there from Patel. And another one. And a good save there from Simmers. As the double nutmeg. And a chance for Fisher again, I believe it was. Couldn't get round Simmers. Good save from her. She's looked good in goal today. There's Amelia Simmers. As Yek finds the feet off Patel, centre court, drops it off for Jackson. See Fisher. Far side now for Yek. She drives forward into the half, drops it off for Patel, but it's left behind it. A chance here for Southern United on the break. Can they get the shot away? There's a good scrambling defence there from the Pride. There's Brownlee. Found her way towards goal. Chance here for the Pride. Sips inside. Good save from Simmers again. She's been electric in goal. Keeping her side in it at the moment. I'm sure coach Ronan Nike will want to have a chat about some of the finishing. Position stats pretty good. There's Patel now. Chance here for Patel. And she does it. Great one two there with Yek. And Patel scores her first of the campaign. We're not ideal there for Southern United with one minute sixteen remaining in this first half. Taking that two goal lead into the break. But it's up to three now. And they're still knocking uh, the Canterbury Pride. It was classy movement there from Serena Patel. That's why she's won the MVP a couple of seasons and is also a standout player for 
the Misfits is possession given away and Brownlee in a bit of space here. Yek's got to come back and a good challenge there from Yek. But it will be a corner ball here for Southern United. And the shot comes in, it's just blocked there from Southern United. They come, Pride come forward with it now. Patel gets a shot away and it's in. Just like that, Serena Patel has her second of the game. It was Fisher that played the ball through and Patel takes a touch, picks her spot and makes no mistake of it. It's 4-0 now. The scoreline running out of steam here at the end of this first half. Uh, Southern United and again. The Pride come forward with Perrett. Yak finds Patel again. Chance for a hat-trick. And a good save again from Simmers as she comes out and forces the error there from Patel. 36 seconds remaining here in this first half. 4-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Nielsen. Ball here for Brownlee, but Patel comes in. Good challenge from her out of court for a kick in on this near side. 24 seconds remaining. As Patel gets a touch on that, out of court. Kick it again for Southern United. Brownlee. Can she find a way through this defence? McLean plays Nielsen. As he gets a toe to that, out of court. 15 seconds remaining. Southern United would love to get a goal before half time, I'm sure. As a ball forward there for Brownlee, can't bring it under control. And it's easy pickings for Falco. Yeek in a bit of space here. Looks for the centering ball, but blocked there. And they'll do it here for the first half. The Canterbury United Pride have been somewhat clinical. A few more opportunities than the scoreline would suggest. But it's the Pride who lead at the halftime break. Four goals to nil over Southern United. We'll be back in about five minutes. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. We believe in supporting and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. we are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be.
Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the Paint Kiwis Trust for years and years. live at Maypower Stadium out here in Rangiora for this Women's Futsal Super League 2023 Canterbury United Pride taking on Southern United Women's side 4-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride it was Morrow that got the scoring underway Rachel Brody and then two quick goals from Serena Patel I think the Southern United side will be happy about their start though Solid on defence. Plenty of chances for the pride. Coach Arnon Tap. Let's say pre-game. Only had two training sessions. So tough start for them, but they're looking strong. And the juggernaut that is the pride futsal side. And starting to get into their work as they go back to their starting five. Serena Patel. Falco and goal. Firth, Morrow and Brittany Lickleson. And for Southern United, it's Body, Nicholson, Diaz. McLean, no, correction, Nielsen. And Simmers still in goal. There's a slight delay here as the scoreboard counting down as they work here to figure out the issue plenty of action over the next few weeks have the northern sides up in Tauranga soon and we all come together up in Auckland before the final series in Wellington. There's a small conversation here about how much time we should take off. Look to be close to getting back underway. 
As we've agreed on, eight seconds gone in the first half. Second half correction. As it will be Firth to get us back underway. Nicholson now. As the Pride look to keep going where they left off in that first half as Morrow trips on that ball. Still finds the feet to off Firth, but it's Nicholson now. A bit of space for her. Gets round one. Flicks far side. Firth shoots. And uh, Nicholson arriving slightly too late for that one as it flashes across the face of the goal. Southern United survive early, but Patel now on the loose ball keeps that one in. Centering ball, chance there for Morrow, but it was Nicholson who blocks, and she gets round Nicholson. Far side now, chance here for Southern United coming for Diaz. Was running, but Firth, as she drives into the half by herself, though. And a good block there from Nielsen, but it's the Pride who will come away with it again. Patel, near side for Morrow. She tries to turn round body. It's out of court for a kick in on this near side. Patel finds the feet of Nicholson. Can she turn? Good block there from Abby Nicholson for Southern United. Out of court, far side now for a kick in for the Pride. Morrow now. Firth. Patel. Good block there from Diaz. She drives into the half, but again, Patel is there. And she'll come forward now. Bit of space. Drops it off here for Morrow, who hits the <laughs> post. And it will be out of court for a keeper's ball. Another opportunity for the Pride early in this half. It's like it is a kick in on the far side. That's great work there from Patel. As Southern United try to flick that one forward, but straight out of court. And it will be a kick in here for the Pride far side. Nicholson trying to find the feet off Patel, but blocked there. As Falco called on to do some work. Finds the feet of Firth. Good ball forward for Patel. Drops it off for Nicholson and a great finish there for Nicholson. And that makes it five goals to nil. The ball through the middle to Patel who just holds it up and lays it off for Nicholson who makes no mistake this time. And they add another one to the scoreboard to the pride. Almost two minutes gone in the second half. Long way back for Southern United now, but I want to keep playing positively here. Diaz. Falls here for Morrow. Patel. She gets round Diaz, centres the ball. Chance for Nicholson again across the face of the goal. As the Pride do well to get back on defence and again Patel interception centre court 2v2 here drops it off here for Morrow shot straight at the keeper good save there from Simmers and she throws long here for Body as Diaz works hard there to get the ball back as Nicholson now for Southern United it's Patel again who comes forward on that one. And it's out of court for a kick in near side here for Southern United. Nicholson. Diaz now, far side, turns around Brittany Lee Nicholson. She's tracking back though, out of court for kick in Southern United. Good run there from Diaz. Yes. Patel challenges, falls here for Morrow. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but wide of the target. There's Patel now. Drops it off for Nicholson. Back inside again. It's across the face of the goal for the Pride. It's not quite timing those runs. We are kicking here for the Pride. 
as Morrow slaps a shot in. Hide and wide. And it will be a keeper's ball. Now Simmons throws long here for body. Too long. And Falco will get to do the same. Chooses to drop short here for Firth. Near side for Morrow. Patel. Bit of space for her to shoot. Good save there from the keeper. Falls for Nicholson and a good shot there for her. And that's another one there for the Pride. 6-0 now the scoreline. Things opening up. Morrow has one. Brody one. Patel two. Now Brittany Lee Nicholson two. As wholesale changes here from Coach Rona Nike. New four out onto the court. Yeah, as they can't get that in, can Southern United but turned over again here. There's a chance for McLean. Just sent wide there. So for the pride it is Yick Dewitt. Parrot. And Jackson on the court. And Falco still in goal. As we touch there, taken. We'll be out of court for a kick in. Do it. Uses Falco. Back to do it, but a space down to move. Good drive here. Chance here for. Oh. As the centering ball. Almost saved out of the goal there by Yick. And another chance goes begging for the pride. That'll be one thing that Coach Ronan Nike will talk about for tomorrow's game. That's good work here from Yick. And a chance to go through. Can she finish? Off the post. Chance. And off the, off the crossbar. And it will be a keeper's ball, I believe. No, it is a corner on the far side. Couple of opportunities there for the Pride. As Jackson will look to take this kick in. Set piece chance here, Yek. Finds the feet here of Perrett, who dances around one. And almost gets around again. Uh, it'll be out for a kick in as Maudsley does enough there in defence. Do it. As McLean can't kick the ball off her, but uses down Parrott now. Chance here for Do it. One on one to keep her unselfishly. Gives it across there for Jackson. And the Canterbury United Pride score another one. Was the number nine. And 7 0 the scoreline now in favour of the Pride. Those chances just starting to fall a little bit more now for the Pride. It's Jackson again. And just like that, 10 seconds later, she has her second in the match. And you blink and you miss it there. And it's 8 0 now. Just caught napping a bit there, Southern United. Maudsley finds the feet of McLean. Good chance here, but just falls over that one. Does Ishikawa. As Yick makes a challenge, which gets a shot on target for her. And a good head there. Ford is Jackson. Lays it off for DeWitt. Near side now for Perrin. It's a young rotation here for the Pride, but taking their chances Yick chips that one forward for Perra but she just can't bring that one under control will be a keeper's ball as Simmons throws long here trying to find the feet of McLean can't bring that one under control and it's easy pickings there for Falco Ford now for Jackson 
repair it. Far side for DeWitt. Good movement here from the Pride as the shot comes in. Blocked there by Gumumbai. And it will be a kick in on the far side here for the Pride. Six minutes gone in the second half. 8-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. There's Parrott now for Yek. Falco. Yek again. This is good movement from the Pride. They're really opening it up. As and that was Maudsley. Did enough there. As Simmons throws long. But Yek's first to it. Falls to the feet of DeWitt. Jackson now drives forward. Good skills on show here, but good challenge there from Gumumbai. But it's still the pride. Perrett dances inside. Can she get the shot away? And a good save there from Simmers. It's almost tried to chip there, but keeper did enough. As chip forward here. But again, the pride first to it. And Perrett will try and get around Maudsley. Can't do so. Far side for Ishikawa. Pride onto it first again. Falls for Simmers. She throws long here for McLean. Dispossessed by DeWitt. Absolutely suffocating them at the moment are the Pride. Parrott can't get round Maudsley. Good defence from the number six. Holding on at the moment are Southern United. DeWitt. Good block there from Gumumbi. As a shot comes in here from Yick. Start high and wide of the target as Simmers throws long here for McLean. Good touch this time. She can't get around Parrot. He does enough. Drops it off for Falco. And gets it back again. Need the full press here from Southern United, but... In the middle of a substitution, Margie Diaz back onto the court. And as for changes being made, it's Body and Nicholson back onto the court. Replacing Maudsley and McLean. As the ball finds its way out of court on the near side. Eight minutes gone in this second half. 8-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. Southern United still fighting though. As Diaz now. Can't get round to it, but it's out of court for a kick in. Southern United ball. Nicholson. Just can't find the feet of body there. Be a keeper's ball. As Falco throws long here for DeWitt. Good touch from her. Parrot. Yank. Good play here. Chance here for DeWitt. But just a bit of a heavy touch there. As Simmers rolls for Diaz. But she can't keep that one under control. Out of court on the near side. Changes now for the Pride. Full four change. Myers, Brody, Fisher, and Merkin onto the court. There's Nielsen. Good challenge there from Brody. Centering ball. Chance to shoot, but wide of the target there from Myers. Brody was quick to that one. Forcing the error on Southern United. There's a keeper's ball here. As Simmers throws long again, trying to find the feet of Body. Does enough there, but double team there from the Pride. As Fisher comes away with it, finds the feet of Myers. You can't bring it under control. And Southern United will come away with it again. Body now. Pressure coming from the Pride. Diaz. Dances around, but no way forward there through this defence at the moment. Diaz into court. Body. Nielsen. Pressure coming here from Myers. 
Drops it off for Diaz. Far side. This is better possession here from Southern United. But Fisher breaks away with a chance here for Merkin. Gets a shot, but blocked. And I think that will be a corner ball. Fisher. Back to Myers. Centering ball falls to the feet of Body, I think it was. He uses Diaz and they clear it out. Kick in now on the snare side. Almost halfway through the second half. 8 0 still the scoreline. Fisher, far side now for Merkin. She drops that down the line and Brody will come and grab it. Centering ball, but can't find the feet, but falls again for the Pride. Working hard on defence, uh, Southern United. Trying to find a good turn there from Merkin. Centres the ball. Chance here, but again, flashes wide as Diaz. Can't keep that one under control. And it's out of court on this near side for a kick in. Block shot there from Diaz. Top four, Fisher. She tries to dance around body, but good challenge from her. And they will turn it over. The defensive work there from Southern United. As Nielsen can't find the feet there of Diaz up top. Falls now for Falco. He'll just drop it. I look to build again from the back through Fisher. Near side now for Myers. Brody, good turn from her, but she'll run out of court. Nine minutes, 58 remaining in this game. Ain't nil the scoreline. The pride leading over Southern United women's side. Also back on here at 2 o'clock today for the men's game. As Fisher now comes forward with it. Merkin. Myers. Good movement here from the Pride. Trying to find a way through this defence as Myers will drag that one in. Just. No. Nope. Out of court, call from the referee on the far side. As changes for Southern United. Tess Fountain, Brownlee, Verivis, and Empson back onto the court. As Verivis now. Brody does enough. And forces it out. Far side will be a pride ball, I believe. There's a bit of space here to move for Brody. Cuts inside, gets the shot away, but it's blocked. Still here for Brody. Good work there from Des Fountain. But it's Fisher who'll come forward with it in space. Drives a shot in, but wide off the target. Simmons will throw long. Nope, doesn't let go of it. But Myers can't make her pay. Not sure what happened there. Looked to be going long, but the ball just stuck to her hand. And this time it does go long. And flicked on there by Brownlee. But Falco will pick that one up and the pride will come again. Myers now, a bit of space for her in the centre court. Drops it far side for Fisher, but she can't bring that under control. That'll roll out of court. And the keeper's ball. As Verivis happy to see that one roll out. Brownlee. Good touch forward here for Verivis. Can they find a goal in this game? Southern United. And is out of court on the far side. Brownlee. Near side for Empson. She looks to find the feet of Jess Fountain, but... It's Fisher who'll get on the loose ball and Brody will charge forward with it now. Myers on the far side. Can she get the shot away? Looks to go back. Good work there from Empson. Track back fast. And got the block in. Eight and a half minutes remaining here as the shot comes in and that's saved onto the post. It's Merkin, I believe it was. As a 
the shot comes in again, but wide of the target. There was a touch there, I believe. As Brody now drops here for Merkin. Fisher forced back to Falco. Finds the feet of Myers. Of course, you can't go back to your keeper after the touched shot. Comes in towards the back post. No one there for the pride. And Zimpson now. Brownlee. Just holding possession for a moment. Uh, Southern United. And it's just Fountain. Can't bring that one under control. And Brody will jump on the loose ball. Chance here for Brody. Drops it back. And it's found its way in there from... But that was Merkin in the end. And it's 9-0 here at Main Power Stadium. The Pride getting the job done here in the second half as we're back on a change of four. Nicholson, Patel, Morrow and Firth back on the court. As it's out of court. Will be a kick in here for the Pride. Slight confusion around which white line was in play there. As Patel now in a bit of space tries to thread the needle there for Morrow. Still with Nicholson, but cleared away in Brownlee. Forced out of court on the far side. Seven and a half minutes remaining. There's Patel. Firth driving forward, good save there from Simmers. Gets down low and just forces that out of court. A few players on two goals in search of the hat trick. There's Morrow. She can't dance around, just found it all come away with it. She drives into the half. Good tracking back there by Morrow and forces the error. As Firth, far side now for Nicholson. She drops that off for Patel. Again for Morrow. She tries to find Nicholson back post, but Simmers does well to slow that play down. Goes long here for Brownlee. And a good challenge there from Firth, but straight back to Simmers. He throws long again. That will be a pride ball on this near side. There's Nicholson, sends this one long for Patel. Good touch from her, but Simmers is there. It's a strong game despite the scoreline. There's Patel now in a bit of space. One-on-one -on -one here. Good work there from Ebsen. And she just sends that one away. With the defence a bit of a break. And we do have a change in goal for the Pride. Scarlet Grey. Making her debut. A couple of goalkeeping injuries for the Pride. So gets the call up. Morrow finds Patel. Far side now for Nicholson. Shot away and that's in. Simmers couldn't do anything with that. And that makes it 10-0 here. And a hat-trick for Brittany Nicholson. Third of the game. I just think that probably that game time together is what's missing from Southern United. I'm sure they'll grow into this tournament the more minutes they have together. There's definitely been patches where they've looked strong. Just haven't been able to get any real opportunities in this game as Patel does well to keep that one in. Centres, but good work there from Epson. And it's back with Patel who chips round and Simmers equal to that. Drops short for a change. But Morrow now comes forward with it. Chance here for the Pride, but good block again from Epson. And the way calm Southern United, but it's fair of us. I can't keep that one under control.
Nicholson gets round this fountain and good work there from Ibsen coming across out of court on the snare side as Nicholson looks to find a centering ball but can't do so as Brownlee tries to get round Firth but it falls again and Gray will have another touch on the ball Morrow now in space into court Brownlee working on her as Verifus comes across slows the play down out of court far side just over five minutes remaining here 10-0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride Patel and she drops it off for Morrow gets a shot away good save from Simmers again and wide of the target there from Morrow it's been kept busy tonight has Simmers There's Nicholson back on the court for Southern United. Trying to get past Morrow. Falls here for Patel. Good save again there from Simmers. Nicholson. There's I think Firth. No touch on that. that will be the pride will come again. Firth trying to find that back post run, but no one's there for the pride. Will be a keeper's ball. Of course, these two teams will be at it again tomorrow, 10 a.m. As Simmons goes long, body brings it under control, but Nicholson does well. As Diaz trying to battle for that ball, drops it off for Nielsen as Nicholson comes forward on her. Patel now. As she finishes expertly and also gets her hat trick and with four minutes 27 remaining it's 11 nil here in favor of the pride as coach Ronan Nika putting out a new set of four Myers Morrow stays on the court. Fisher and Brody. As the ball there falls for Morrow, she drives forward, uses Brody. Who's great finish there. As she beats Simmers at the near post. And she gets her second of the afternoon. 12-0 now the scoreline. It was a classy finish there from Brody. Who comes forward again now. Drops it off for Fisher. Far side now for Myers as Nicholson comes forward. Probably does enough. Just checking that Diaz is all right. Took the ball to the face there. There's Brody. Near side for Morrow. Diaz coming forward on her. Myers. Morrow. Fisher. Back to Morrow. Good movement here from the Pride. And there's a good challenge there from Nicholson. It falls to Gray. We'll drop it off for Morrow. Three minutes, 15 remaining in this game. 12 0 the scoreline in favour of the Pride. A touch there from Diaz. He had a court for a kick in on the near side. Morrow. Myers. Nicholson comes forward on her. Still finds the feet of Fisher. She's still going. Good save there from the keeper. Chance to shoot. Wide of the target there from Myers. And as Simmers will look to go long again. As Morrow brings that under control. Finds the feet of Myers. Good work there at the back. It's fallen here for Nielsen who drives forward into the half. Far side now for Nicholson. Chance here for Southern United. But again, the pride equal to it as Myers chases down that loose ball. A little beat her out of court on the far side. 
They'll want to finish with a goal here, will Southern United. Body. Can't bring that under control. It'll be Morrow who'll come forward with it. Opens up for her. Drops it off for Brody, who has a shot, but it's off the post. But it's Myers who comes in and cleans it up. And that is 13-0 here in favour of the Pride. Two and a half minutes remaining. They won't want the floodgates to really open in this last few minutes. There's a chance here for Brody. Good save from Simmers. She tries to flick that one round. Goes long here for Body. Double team coming for her. Nicholson. There's Nicholson now. Bit of space for her. Tries to get around Myers, but does enough and it's out of court on this near side. Kick in for Southern United. Two minutes remaining. Can they find a way to get a goal in this one? Shot comes in from Nielsen, but straight at Morrow. Comes out Nielsen again, though. Gets round Morrow, but doesn't get round Myers. And the Pride will turn this one over. Brody. Finds the feet of Myers. Chance here. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but good save there from Simmers. But it's still with the Pride as she flicks this one in. Brody gets a chance on the head, but a good little palm away there from the keeper. As Morrow can't bring that one under control. Nine goals in the second half from the Pride. 4-0 at half time. I think if they can come out and put a similar performance to that first half in both halves, they'll be a stronger side, Southern United. Of course, with match time together, we'll make things a lot easier. As Fisher now, far side. For do it. He's back on the court. Looks like Morrow's switched with her. Chance here for the Pride and just wide of the target. Shot coming there from Fisher. There's Merkin. Correction, Brody couldn't get anything on that. As DeWitt comes forward with it. Brody now. Minute remaining here. Shot comes in, but wide of the target. There's a corner ball, as called by the referees. There's changes coming here. Yick back onto the court as well as Jackson. And shot comes in, but blocked there from Southern United as Dia dry, drives forward. That Dia still going, tries to find the feet of body, but yeah, he'll clean that one up and just let that roll out of court on the far side. His final changes there is Parrott back onto the court for Brody. Can you imagine? I'll see the rest of this game out as we tick down to the last 30 seconds. Do it. Far side now for Jackson, who jumps around Nicholson. Chip forward there, still falls for Jackson. Can she volley that one home? Still going. Straight at the keeper, though. Fancy foot work there by the number nine. And his last chances here for Southern United, but good pressure coming from Perrett. And with eight seconds remaining, will be a kick in for Southern United. Still fighting hard though. And there's a chance here for Nielsen. Two seconds to go, but easy pickings there for Gray. And that'll do it here for the first game. Canterbury Pride take this one 13-0 over Southern United. We'll take a bit of a break now and we'll be back at 2 p.m. for kickoff for the men.
Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. The stalk represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard, to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. One brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whānau where everyone is welcome. Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years.
Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. Women's World Cup is coming to the shores of Aotearoa, New Zealand in 2023. Uniting Aotearoa, it offers an unprecedented opportunity to make our game bigger, better and bolder for everyone, especially for girls and women. Its legacy starts now. Our leverage and legacy plan will supercharge football in Aotearoa, grounded in two principles. Mana Wahine, elevating the spirit and mana of Wahine. And Tūranga Waiwai, our place of belonging, our foundation, our home. Built on four po or pillars. The power of opportunities, Faka Mana. Partnerships, Mana Natahi. Pathways, Ada. And Tiaki, people and places. Committed to the people and the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand, this plan leads the way by breaking barriers, paves the way for future generations, grows and strengthens the game through meaningful relationships, and creates a game for all and a place of connection. With Aotearoa United, Legacy starts now. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. No Maya Hooky Maya, welcome back to Main Power Stadium for Game 2 of Day 1 of this Southern Travel Series between the Dragons and Southern United Men. It's been a close encounter over the last few years between these two sides. Southern tending to have the number on the Dragons. Looking forward to today's actions. My name's Mark Matsis. I'll be taking you through the game today. First, we're going to catch up with the coaches and get their reactions before the game. Here with coach of the Men's Southern United side Ben O'Farrell. Ben, how's preparations been for this game? Uh, preparations have been excellent. Um, uh, we had a bit of a slow start in terms of numbers to training but people started flooding back into Dunedin and we had an excellent training camp last weekend and we had to cut a few people from our 23 man squad which doesn't usually happen and um, we picked a high quality 14 for this weekend. Who do you think are your key players coming into this weekend? Obviously the return of Oban Hawkins from up north must really bolster the side. Oh, big time. Yeah, um, Oban taking out that championship is always good. It's great to have him back. Fraser Hunter has returned from his OE and um, he's between the sticks for us, which is great. He's also our captain. Um, and we have Carlos Herman. He was poss possibly an injury scare, but um, he's here, he's fit, and hopefully we're banging some goals. Mike Sanham is always great to have. I guess historically in the last few years you've had the number over this Dragons side. What have you talked about before the game? 
Uh, we just had our change uh, chat then, which you dragged me out of, and um, we talked a lot of tactics. We talked. I uh, can't reveal any of them now, but um, we're going we're to play hard. A few, uh, plenty of new boys to the um, the national league, but um, hopefully they we can blend them in with some of our more experienced players, and yeah, put on a show for you today. Thank you very much, Ben. All the best. Cheers. Here with the coach of the Dragons, James Valance. James, how have preparations been? Good, mate. Yeah, we've been uh, preparing probably just before Christmas, doing little bits and bobs here and there, and then we kicked on after we came back in about mid-January. So had a good preparation this year, good pre-season. Work boys have been working hard, so we're looking forward to today's game. And obviously, I think the last few years, you'd probably agree the Dragons haven't been up to their best or their, what their potential could be. Have you focused much on that for this year? I think what we've done this year is we've uh, changed quite a lot of uh, around the uh, team culture and the um, environment we create within the training squad. Um, to do with that, obviously, we've brought in a few new players, a lot of young boys who have come through the age groups and um, have done exceptionally well. Um, so for them, this is a great opportunity, and it's obviously a change of uh, change of the guard, I suppose you could say. Um, so we're really looking forward to see what these boys can do here and, and even in the future. So it's been a really good... I guess you know what you expect with some of these Southern United players as well. Who do you think for you are the key players today? Um, I think really uh, everyone talks about Oban. Like we know how good he can be, and obviously uh, Michael sandham has been around the block for a while now, so he's good, and Carlos Herman's always got a bit of quality in him. So those are probably players that would stand out for me, yeah. Well, all the best for today, and we'll chat soon. Cheers, Cheers. The coaches of the two men's sides there. We take a chance now to have a look at the starting lineups. Starting with the Dragons, Hamish Mitchell in goal, Oikawa, Bailey, Innes, and Luke Pritchard for Southern United. It's Hunter in goal, Montanabe, Stanley, Manikim, and Futsal White, Oban Hawkins. Exciting matchup here. It's been in favour of Southern United for the last few years, but I'm sure this Dragons side will look to put out a performance today. It is great to see the return there of Fraser Hunter. Slightly less here than when he left for Europe a few years ago. And he has been a strong performer in goal for Southern United in the years before he left. And you'll see there to the left of him, Oban Hawkins. Sporting a fantastic moustache and what can only be called some kind of mullet that he's put together especially for this event. That is some show there from Oban. Of course, Ben O'Farrell taking the coaching reins for Southern United. Unfortunately for him, his playing career is over. Had a tumour removed from his ankle and has some arthritis in there, unfortunately. So we won't see him back on the court again. But taking on the coaching reins, look forward to seeing what future holds for him in that way as referee Chris Sinclair walks the two teams out onto the court. Good crowd in here, out at the main power stadium. Almost game two of today. The women's side for the Pride took out the win 13-0. Over Southern United women's side making their first appearance. And a bit of a treat in the commentary box. We're joined by coach of that women's side, Ronan Nika. Ronan, kia ora and welcome. Kia ora, Mark. Good to be here. You obviously know a little bit more about this uh, dragon side. Over the last few years, we've been talking pre-match just around how probably they haven't performed as well as they would like. What do you see this team coming out with today? Look, I think they're a young, energetic side. Um, They've got a few boys now who've had a few campaigns, so that'll add a little bit of experience and steel. It just depends on how they manage the games. Um, historically, we've, we've done really well, but we haven't managed games well through to the end. Wise words there from Ronan Nyker as the teams start to get ready. A few new faces in the Southern United side. Number 15, Gustavo. Also the number 11, Paulo Diaz. And a couple of players who have been in and around the scene for quite some time. There's also a new goalkeeper, Young Stevenson, who is making his debut. And as we look there at the starting lineup for the Dragons, it's going to be a tight encounter, I'm sure. There's a lot of experience out on the court for Southern United. Thoban Hawkins. And if you haven't heard in the background, Jerry Sanham is here 
with his standard southern call. So it'll be Southern United to get us underway. Montanabe on the ball. All smiles at the moment as the referees do their final checks. And I think we're good to go. Go Southern! As referee Chris Sinclair will blow us underway. And it will be Southern United to get us started. Hawkins near side for Stanley. Good challenge there from Ennis. Kick in far side for Southern United. And first foul. And when I think about it, there was no fouls in the match this morning between the women's sides. I don't think there was one foul caught. And we've got our first one here within 12 seconds of this game. As Manikim tried to go around Ennis there. As Hawkins Pritchard comes forward on him. As Hawkins gets a shot away. And that's in. Oh, what a start there for Southern United. It was Hawkins who drove the shot in. And Wantanabe just flicked that one home. Rona Nyker. What a goal. I mean, the Pritchard out of comes forward on him. As Hawkins gets there from the shot away. Oh, a lovely finish from Wantanabe. Still not sure about that haircut from Hawkins, but... It doesn't matter in that type of finishing there. As Southern United take the one goal to nil lead inside the first 30 seconds. As Hunter drops a mannequin. Far side now for Hawkins. Driving through for Stanley, but it's Bailey. Well, I think it's taken out there by Hawkins. And foul called. So that's a foul each inside the first 30 seconds. As Hawkins just caught him there as he came charging through. Looks like it'll be Oikawa on the ball. Drops four in his front near side here for Pritchard. Oikawa. Stanley coming forward. Interesting to see how they defend. Good work there from Bailey. Has a little touch. I think it'll be a corner on the far side. A frantic start here from both sides. And it is some sight to see Fraser Hunter back in goal. Probably a missing link in Southern United. There's a chance here for Bailey, but it doesn't fall quite right. And it will be Stanley that'll come away with it as he tries to find the feet off Hawkins. Oikawa does enough there to slow it down. And it's on Manikin now. Oikawa gets on the loose ball, drives forward, shot away. And Hunter will see that one wide as calls for a corner ball. But not given there by the referees. Imagine Hunter will be slower to get up than he used to be on those ones. And it's Hawkins now. Far side for Stanley. Press coming forward here from Pritchard. Nice little ball down the line there as Hawkins tries to get around Bailey. And it looks like a good battle there between those two. Of course, Hawkins is a futsal white. There's Oikawa now. Far side for Ennis as he drives forward into the half. Near side, Bailey. Good ball movement here from the Dragons. As Hawkins, great challenge from him. Coming forward, he's got Stanley. Uses a bit of space to turn. Hamish Mitchell comes forward, charts. And saves off the line there by Ennis. There's another opportunity there for Southern United. They're looking sharp, Ronan. They are. I mean, they've got a lot of quality. They've been, been around for a while, so there's no surprises there. There's Manikin. Gives for Hawkins on this near side. Stanley. Bailey battling. Double team comes within us, but he still manages to get away. Centering ball, but blocked there by Bailey. Out of court on this near side for a corner. High intensity stuff here to get us started. As Manikin now steps inside, good challenge here from Moikawa. That'll roll out for a kick in. Just caught a bit flat footed there, was Manikin. Didn't catch up with him, but not quite sure what he's doing down in Dunedin or down south. But great addition to this side is chance here for Bailey. Moikawa now back in and good work there. And. It is out of court for a keeper's ball. As Hunter rolls far side here for Hawkins. Manikin. Juan Sanabe. Far side now for Hawkins. Good movement here from Southern United. Manikin. 
Stanley, good challenge here from Ennis as Oikawa comes forward. Still there for Stanley, but Ennis gets rid of that one outside. Far side for a kick in. Just over two minutes gone here. One nil the scoreline in favour of Southern United as Stanley tries to turn that one around the corner. And Mitchell's happy to see that one go out. Probably not the start that James Valance would have liked. There's still plenty of time to come back into this one. There's Ennis now, far side for Oikawa. Drops it back there, falls for Hawkins, but Mitchell's quick to react. And that is a second touch, I believe. Ronan, do you want to talk us through that rule? Well, if you haven't seen much of Saul before, obviously the team position cannot pass it back to the keeper more than once. Once it happens, it has to go out and touch the opposition player. So free kick here for Southern United as Hawkins steps over it. Near side for Stanley, drives it and blocked there by Bailey. Falls for one ton of beat. He tries to flick that back for Hawkins. Boy, Carlo will come forward with it now. Uh, it's... Just can't find the feet there of Ennis charging forward. Still no changes from either side yet. There's a chance to shoot. And it's in! What a finish there from Moikawa! Just smashes that one home. And we're all tied up here. I mean, a lot of quality in this game. The two goals have come from two pieces of quality, and so let's hope to see more of that throughout the rest of the game. First change here for the Dragons. And there's Emberton onto the court, replacing Bailey. 1-1 one, one inside the first three minutes here. Uh, Stanley can't get that one under control. And Oikawa now pushes that down the line as Emberton pushes that on to Manikam out of court for a kick in. Nurse drives forward. Chance here for Southern United. Hawkins keeps that one in. A good challenge there by Pritchard as Emberton comes forward with a shot away, but wide of the target there. As a couple of choice words from the Canterbury players towards the referees. We're not worth it this early in the game. As Pritchard will take this set piece. Ennis tries to play that one off, but it's out for a keeper's ball. And Fraser Hunter will drop this for Manikin. Near side for one Tanabe. Hawkins. Stanley, good challenge there from Pritchard, but still here with Southern United. Manikin. On Tanabe, dancing around. Holding the ball well here are Southern United. Hawkins. Finds the feet of Stanley. On Tanabe. Back to Manikin. Good touch there from Wantanabe as he tries to flick that one down. Shot comes in, blocked there by Ms. Pritchard, I believe. And it will be a corner ball as we see some changes. First look here of Michael Sanham. Still kicking around these parts of town. Quality player. Yes, you're not wrong there, Ronan. Just pointing out the fresh cuts we have on display in this game. As that's easy there for Ennis as he tries to get around Hawkins. Full here from Wantanabe. He drives around. Can he get the shot away? Good challenge there from Emberton. And that'll be out of court on this near side. Still a lot of quality on the bench for Southern United. As Senham slaps a left-footed shot. Manikam, Hawkins. Of course, he did actually win this Super League competition last year, playing up north. Oh, back down south where he's at uni. Let's see. Still dancing around as Hawkins. 
There's a lot of work being done on him. Far side now for Wansanabe. Sanam, Manikim, Wikawa foot on him. Lost here as Emberton comes forward with it. One-on-one -on -one with Sanam. Gets the shot away, but blocked there by Sanam. And easy pickings there for Hunter. Almost five minutes gone in this first half. 1-1 one -one the scoreline. Looks like Carlos Herman onto the court for Southern United. Been a foul, let's say an injury cloud for him. He's out on the court and on the ball now. Hawkins. Near side now for Sanham. Big shift being put in by these Canary Dragons players. As Hawkins finds the feet off Herman. Back to Hawkins. Sanham, heavy touch from him. As Pritchard puts it, and he's replaced by Cameron. As Adam Hewson onto the court for Southern United. Sanham, Hawkins. As Oikawa sends that one into the crowd. Out of court just on halfway. Kick in for Southern United. Changes coming now for both sides. Cooper as well. As Herman battling with Innes. That'll be a kick in here for Southern United. Houston, far side for Sanham. He tries to step around. Cameron still going. Chance here for Houston. Opens up. Gets a shot away. Good save by Mitchell and cleared away there by Ennis. As he takes a break and is replaced by Zimmerman, I believe. Six minutes gone here. One on the scoreline. Cooper finds the feet off Herman. Cooper again. Sanham. Good ball movement here by Southern United. Houston. Sanham steps forward there, does Zimmerman as Houston jumps around. Chance here for Southern United. Still going. Good work there from Mitchell as he clears the loose ball. Throws this one forward. Far side now for Emberton. Takes a shot block there by Sanham. Has a chance. And a block again there from Cooper as Herman comes back to clean it up. And a great challenge there by Emberton. Just slows play down. Sanham, Cooper, far side for Houston. Sanham, ships down the line there, but it's Wikawa who comes forward with a chance here for the Dragons on the break. Good challenge there from Michael Sanham. As Wikawa still battling. Can he get the shot away? Does block there by Cooper. And it falls for the feet of Cameron, who slows it down here with Emberton. Near side now for Zimmerman. Dragons turn now to play with possession. Cameron. Zimmerman. Far side for Emberton. As he finds himself on the deck, but nothing called there from the referees. Cameron drives a shot in, and Hunter does well to get low quickly there. And that'll be a corner ball, I believe. What do you make of this first seven and a half minutes, Roman? Quite intense. I think they're starting to slow it down a little bit now and control the game and not play as much of a transitional game as they were at the start. As the shot comes in there and saved, and it's going to be Cooper who comes away with it as Mitchell now onto the court, tracking back. Number 13 for the Dragons. Sanham now. Houston, far side. As this has fallen here for Emberton. Chance here for Cameron shoots, and that's blocked by. Not sure who, but it is a Dragons ball on the far side. There's a shot comes in, it's in! And it's Zimmerman who slaps that shot at the goal, and it's 2 1 now in favour of the Dragons. Two corners, two set pieces. Southern going to learn from the last one and they've left the man free on the top. Free shot, two goals. And just like that, 
The Dragons take the lead for the first time. It's that set piece at the moment that's causing issues for Southern United. As Cooper tries that one down, but it's out of court. As we also see Richards onto the court for the first time. I'm sure I've seen him play a game of futsal before. I've seen him in the outdoor version. There's a great ball forward there, but Cameron just can't bring that one under control. There's a ball forward here. Mitchell does well there, but it falls here for Houston. There's good footwork. Good save there. Great save there from Mitchell. It almost fell there for Carlos Herman, but it did enough, and Richards sees that one go away. As Mitchell now plays far side for Cameron. Southern United sitting back in the half. Richards taken by Houston. One on one there. And that'll be a foul. As he did enough to move the ball away from Richards there. And caught. Second foul of the half for the Dragons. As Michael Sano will set up with his left foot. You'll probably fancy it from this range. I've seen him put him in from here. And Mitchell will be aware of it, but blocked there by his brother. It will be a kick in on the far side for Southern United. Oh, it's been an exciting game so far. As Cameron does enough there. It was a dangerous looking ball in there from Michael Sanham. There's Cooper now, far side for Sanham. Cooper. There's Zimmerman. Getting to work over him. Houston now. Cooper. Carlos Herman drops it off, but it's good work there from Cameron, and he'll take a break. Look at his, look that's Oakman onto the court. Nine minutes gone here in this first half. 2-1 in favour of the Canterbury Dragons. Chance here for Herman, but he misses the target. And it's not often you see that from Carlos Herman. As Mitchell throws long here for Oakman. Heavy touch from him, but Cooper forced into the challenge. Puts that out on the far side. Zimmerman, good touch from him. Mitchell driving forward here good challenge here from Houston as he jumps in and that's going to be another foul second one on Houston in as many minutes as a word have on the referee as Oban Hawkins back onto the court far side for one time beat as Hawkins steps a shot blocked by Richards. Almost falls there for Cooper. And it's Mitchell far side now. Hawkins goes over to him. Falls here for Zimmerman. Good challenge there, but as Oakman gets a bit caught up. And here comes Houston. Drops across the face of the goal, but just not quite arriving at the right time was Wansanabe. And it will be a kick in on the far side. As referee Chris Sinclair points to the spot. And it will be Mitchell who drops here for Oikawa back onto the court. Richards. Mitchell back to Richards. Happy just to move the ball around at the moment are uh, the Dragons. As they clip forward, a good head there from Richards, I think it was. It's cleared away there by Southern United. Keeper's ball. And there's Mitchell. Drop us to get us back underway. Southern United happy to sit in their own half. Coming forward now. Mitchell sends us forward, but straight to Houston. Good touch from him as he tries to get around Oakman. And looks like a timeout called here 
by Benjamin O'Farrell. Just under 10 minutes remaining here in this first half. 2 ones the scoreline in favour of the Dragons. What do you make of the game so far, Roden? Obviously a frantic start, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement trying to get back into Super League 2023. I think it's settled down a little bit now, and you'll see with the different combinations, substitutions, um, especially, you know, for Southern with Mike and Carlos came on, they try and control it and slow the player down a little bit. Um, both teams probably can't play at that pace for the whole whole half. Um, be interesting to see um, what Southern do now to change it up a little bit because I think Ken Riff kind of grown into the game. They know what Southern want to do. Um, but yeah, initially, I think those three bits of quality that has been the difference. Um, and Southern have actually had a couple of opportunities since, but just not uh, the same level of quality as they had in their first goal. Yes, it's been quality all round in terms of the finishing so far. Early goal for Southern United. I mean, two fantastic strikes from the Dragons. As the timeout expires here. Nine minutes, 45 remaining. As Southern get us back underway. Near side here for Cooper. Houston tries to get around Oikawa, but it falls there for Hawkins. Cooper now, near side for Wantanabe. Hawkins. You see what he can do on the ball. Houston. Hawkins shot away, good shot. Save there, and a chance on the follow up, but it's wide of the target there from Cooper. You give him too much space, he'll take it. You shut him down and he'll probably skin you, Ivan Hawkins. As Mitchell brings this one under control, drops it back for Ikawa. Richards inside for Mitchell again. That's a good run here from Ikawa. But good challenge put in there, blocked there by Houston as he comes away with it and just slows the play down. As he's still going forward here as Houston. Mitchell does well. He'll be forced into it here, but Richards sends this one long and it'll go as far as Fraser Hunter. As he drops it for Cooper. Wantanabe now, far side for Hawkins. Cooper drops it off for Wantanabe. Cooper. Tight traffic in there for Southern United. Hawkins. Houston. Good movement here from Southern United. Trying to find a way to break down this Canterbury defence. As Oikawa blocks that one. And it'll be out of court on the far side. And it will be a kick in which Houston will take. Hawkins gets the shot away. It's just wide of the target. On his right foot. I think he wanted that one on his left. As changes here for the Dragons. Oikawa. Richards, he's put a big shift in so far. As falls here again. Back as far as Mitchell. He'll look to go long. Good ball there. And it's almost in there from Hawkins. Richards only can find one Tanabe as he dances around Houston goes long here for Hawkins but Oakman does enough to cut that one off uh, Grosvenor it's involved as Ennis drops far side for Richards Grosvenor Zinnis can't get that one down the line and out of court. As we see changes here for Southern United. On the court is Willett and the number 13 and Reid Hulliman. Many a National League and Super League for Reid Hulliman. As a shot comes in and that's easy for Fraser Hunter. Willett. 
Halloran. Hawkins. And there's a heavy touch there. And there's a ball roll, rolls out of court on the far side. Great question, Rona Nike. Probably some form of shin pad in there from the number 13. As Innes now, he drives forward. Grosvenor, far side for that gallop set. Also sporting one of those haircuts. As Hunter goes long for Hulliman. But Grosvenor does well to get up for that one. You could probably go back to a lot of the different years and series and see a few of the fashion trends coming through for the players out there as a shot comes in from Willett but blocked. Falls here for Hawkins who almost does enough there but Innes expertly keeps that one in. There's Gupset. Far side for Innes. Innes steps forward now. Richards as he tries to get that one past Hawkins and Hawkins tries forward chance here for Southern United Hawkins keeps that one in Grovner comes back on defence there and a good challenge there from Richards and we'll be out of court for a kick in on this near side 5 minutes 55 remaining in this first half 2-1 still the scoreline in favour of the Dragons Hulliman Hawkins as he tries to dance around gets a shot away and Mitchell saves that one and Ennis will keep that in and as it falls back to Richards who goes long here good touch there from Grosvenor and as he recycles and they start again here to the Dragons Ennis now Richards he's been off for quite some time as, and as I say that he is replaced by Charlie Bailey Zinnis now steps inside the half. Good touch there from Gautzett. Takes the shot, but it's wide of the target. As Carlos Herman back onto the court for Southern United. Got, uh, the experience three here with um, Sanam Herman and Reed have done really well with him in the past. Won a national title together as well. A few years on though from then. Unfortunately, we get you older every year, Rhoda. As Bailey now, a bit of space for him, drops down the line for Gupset, drops it back. Bailey's still with it. And Sanham just toes that one away. And he had a court for a kick in on this near side. Five minutes remaining in this first half. Shot comes in there. It's side netting. As Hunter, happy to see that one. Rolls here for Willett. Sanham. Halloman. Herman. There's pressure coming now from Bailey. Sanham steps back inside. Bit of space for him to drive forward. Good pull forward for Herman. He tries to dance around Innes, but it's well done from him. And they'll start again as the press comes. Falls here for Hunter. Uh, almost a bit of confusion there. But it's Willett driving forward now. Tries to find the feet of Herman. But it's turned over. And the Dragons will start again. Bailey. Hey. So not wrong there, Ronan. As... Hunter can't keep hold of that one. And a timeout called here by James Valence. Just before we were about to see Paulo Diaz and Gustavo into the match for the first time. The set piece has been where the Dragons have been most dangerous. I'm sure they'll have some set piece move here. Southern United need to find a way back into this game. The Dragons are definitely settling into it. 
I think a goal either way here will change a bit of momentum. I think both sides will <laughs> want to be going into the halftime break with a bit of positive play. What's impressed you so far, Ronan? I think, in fact, that's a close game played at a really high tempo. Um, considering these teams haven't played for a couple of years, I'm um, surprised by the, the quality of uh, the control and the passing and the, and the general movement, which has been great. Um, also, the difference is going to show as, as, the, as the league starts to fatigue and if they can still produce a bit of quality later on in the game. And I've got to come back and do it again tomorrow. If you are in the area, Main Power Stadium out in Glangiwara. Beautiful facility. As all the players are almost setting up, forgetting that it is a corner ball for the Dragons. As Bailey flicks this one, and Ennis goes for glory. And that one's wide as we do see the introduction of Paulo Diaz, number 11 on the near side, as well as Gustavo on the far side. And it's Herman Sanham now, far side. Herman. Paulo Diaz, forward there for Gustavo. But it's Mitchell who will let that one go out. As Bailey now steps forward with it. Far side for Emberton. Dragons turn now as they try to force that ball through the middle, but Herman equal to it. It'll be interesting for South. They've got an older, older four here, so they're going to need the ball against the younger, energetic Canterbury side. So if they have to defend against it for too long, they could find themselves in a bit of trouble. This is a kick in there for the Dragons. Sporting their fancy grip fly socks. Fly grip socks. There's Sanham now. Far side for Diaz. Sanham. Gustavo. Herman. Good ball forward here. Chance here for Southern. And I don't know if that was a save, but the Dragons are coming forward. Three on one. Emberton. Hunter comes forward. Chance. Good work there from Diaz. End-to-end -end stuff here at the moment. With two minutes 45 remaining in this half, Southern United almost score. And it's down the other end with a three-on-one. Scrambling defence of Southern United gets the job done. As we go to a kick-in on the far side here for the Dragons. Driven in. A chance and a good save there from Hunter. A flick there from Finn. There's Sanham. Far side for Diaz. Bit of pressure coming from him. Flicks forward here for Gavset. Chance. One on one. And it's wide off the target. As Innes cries for a touch there, but I think it was just off target. There's Sanham now. Two minutes, 20 remaining in this first half. Can't find the feet of Herman. Coming forward now. Ah, the Dragons. Jumps it. And a far side for Emberton. Jumps it. Still moving the ball here. Ah, the Dragons. Bailey now. He steps in. Emberton. Holding the mount are Southern United. Dancing forward is Ennis. Emberton, can he find the shot? Nice ball forward and Hunter come forward for that. As Bailey arrives just a second too late. As changes coming from Southern United. As Ennis challenges, that's out of court. And as we see Pritchard back onto the court for the Dragons. Sanam. Montanabe back on the court. Diaz Sanam pressure coming from Pritchard Gustavo 
as he flicks that down the line here for Diaz. And that'll be a foul from Bailey. Uh, took a bit too much of him as Canterbury Dragons go to their fourth foul off the half. Also, when you get to that fifth foul, there's a free shot at goal. With a minute remaining. It's an okay time to do it. And Southern United coming forward. Still working here. Falls for Bailey. And just slows this one down. As Zimmerman walks this one forward. Pritchard. Far side for Bailey. He steps into the half. Happy to drop that one back for Emberton. 38 seconds remaining. 2-1 the scoreline in favour of the Dragons. Pritchard. Emberton. Bailey, bit of space for him. Cuts inside. Gets the shot away. Good save there from Hunter. As Pritchard can't get it around him. And with 23 seconds remaining, the score remains 2-1. Danger time here for Southern United. As Diaz now. Bit of pressure coming from him. And he just gets rid of that for a reset. 14.8 seconds remaining. Can the Dragons go one better into the half? As Wantanabe lets that one go. And there'll be one chance here probably for Southern United. As they go high, Sanum sends this one long, chips it forward. And it goes straight through to Mitchell. Ten seconds remaining. Emberton. Happy to hold this one. I think they'll see this into the break. And they are just going to leave it there. And that's an interesting end to the first half. Could the Canterbury Dragons take the lead 2-1 into the halftime break? We'll be back in five minutes for the second half to join us. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow.
We believe in supporting and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. Ford, we are always looking towards the future. So while we are proud of our range of vehicles, we are even prouder of being the first company to support not only the football ferns, but the next generation. And the legends we grew up wanting to be. Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the paint Kiwis trust for years and years. Back live here at the main power stadium for the second half of this men's competition between the Canterbury Dragons and Southern United men's side. The Dragons leading two goals to one after an entertaining first half. It was definitely an intense opening five minutes. And once the Dragons settle into it, they started to control the game a little bit more. Southern United will look to come out strong in the second half again as they go back to their starting four by the looks of things Fraser Hunter still in goal Oban Hawkins Manikim Stanley and one Tanabe as you can see Sanam there chatting through players make their way back out on the court entertaining definitely for the neutral joined in commentary by Ronan Nykup just allow him to finish his delicious looking lunch before I ask him questions <laughs> Ronan what did you make of that first half like I said lots of quality that decided the goals. Um, I think the start of this first half is going to be crucially important to how the game ends up. Uh, if Southern take, if, if Canterbury score first, they can take control of the game and, and force up now of position. But if Southern score first, I think they'll have a, a bit of confidence and make a bit of help. As we wait for the referees to get us back underway here, will be the Dragons playing from right to left on your screen and in possession of the ball. Oikawa as the Dragons get into their work Pachard on this near side far side for Bailey as Oikawa drives forward shot comes in and saved there from Fraser Hunt as he pushes that to his left out of nothing there for the Dragons it's covered from Hunter and goal there's a chance again to shoot, but a foul called there on Zimmerman, I believe it was, blocking. And that'll be the first foul in this half. As we're back underway, no. As referee Chris Sinclair calls us back to the mark. And we are underway this time. Hawkins near side for one Tanabe. Manikam stepping forward are the Dragons. Stanley can't bring that one under control. 
And it will be a keeper's ball here with Mitchell. Messi drops for Oikawa, near side for Bailey. He drops it again for Oikawa. Pritchard. Near side for Zimmerman. So he gets around Hawkins, but the ball goes a little bit too far away as Hawkins heads towards Wansanabe. Does well to get around a few. Hawkins, chance to shoot, blocked there by Bailey. As he drops it off for Oikawa, who just clears that one away, and it will be out of court on the far side. Excellent work there from Wansanabe. As he chips this one forward for Stanley, but Zimmerman gets enough on it. And slows the play down. Kick in here for Southern United. Hawkins. Manikin. Far side for Wansanabe. Happy to sit in their own half here. Ah, uh, the Dragons. As Hawkins tries to find a way through. Can't do so. Manikin still going. Dropped there by Charlie Bailey, but falls for Southern United. They come again. Stanley now. As he tries to get around. As Pritchard wins that 50-50. And we felt that one as the Dragons in possession. A passion out on the court today, that's for sure. As Pritchard in a bit of space, drops it for Oikawa. Zimmerman. As he gets around Hawkins, Menachem, challenge on him. Down the line, Zimmerman, shot, but it's into the side netting. As Hunter, this front post covered there. As Menachem now. Bit of pressure coming there, and just a little catch. And that will be a foul, second foul here from the Dragons. Two fouls in the first two minutes. Got to four in the first half, so not too worried about it at the moment. I think the thing the Dragons have to be wary of here is just letting Southern United come at them for the next 17 minutes. As a great challenge there from Montanabe as he drops it back to Hunter who flicks that one forward as Pritchard does enough there as Bailey tries to block off Hawkins but he comes away with it and it is a kick in on the far side in the favour of the Dragons they just don't want to sit on this lead Ronan no, I think Canterbury have more controlled possession at the moment. Um, when Southern, when Southern do get in position, it's a bit frantic. So, it'll be interesting to see how they can can slow the game down when they do have have the ball and actually have some some effective um, combinations and effective possession. As I'm not sure if it's a foul or a kicking. Might be a foul. But it's kicked away again by Southern United. So I'm not sure if that was the third foul. As Hamish Mitchell taking a minute here. Is he carrying some form of injury or is it just standard Hamish Mitchell? Look, yeah, he's had a few knocks this time. I haven't spoken to him recently, so I'm not sure if he's carrying anything into this. As far as I know, he's been fit and ready, so hopefully it's not something that's happened in this game. At the moment, as just looking at the game, um, Southern are really struggling to get out of the pressure from Canterbury, so um, they need to change, change it up a little bit. Yeah, as it looks like Mitchell might be coming to the side. He's replaced. By Clink and goal. As we're back underway here, let's hope Hamish Mitchell is okay. As he gets some treatment on the far side. Back to the game now. Near side for Bailey. Oikawa. Pritchard. And 
is left alone there by everyone and turnover kick in far side and it'll be Southern United now get a chance in possession Sanham near side there's pressure coming there from Bailey and he does well to get around Sanham tries to centre but wins the corner and it will be Dragon's ball on the far side Three and a half minutes gone in the second half. 2-1 the scoreline, still in favour of the Dragons. Two fouls for Canterbury. There's a chance here, a good save there from Hunter. Didn't know much about it, but it falls here for Ikawa. And that's wide of the target. Yeah, Sanham now plays the feet of Stanley. Back for Sanham. Hawkins, far side. As they try to find a way through. As that ends up just in front of us. And kick in here for the, the Dragons. Oikawa. Mitchell sandwich letters back onto the court for the Dragons. Bailey. Richard holding the ball well here are uh, the Dragons. Oikawa, heavy touch from him. Falls for the feet of Hawkins as he drives into the half. But the Dragons are back. Stanley blocked there by Mitchell. And it'll be a kick in far side as we see Houston onto the court. And as he slaps a shot in, which takes a touch, I think, off Bailey. Near corner as Richards replaces Oikawa. And we see Stanley coming off as well, replacing, replaced by Cooper. Go Corner ball here, Hawkins, back to Cooper, as far as Sanham, near side for Houston as he tries to get round Mitchell, good challenge from him, positions body well, drops it off for Pritchard, and a touch there from Clink. Right, Nike is right here. Dragons are holding the ball well. And as I say that, Richards has a heavy touch, but no harm done. Bailey. Far side now for Richards. As he tries to find the feet off Pritchard there. Goes out for a keeper's ball. As Hunter will go long. But Mitchell steps forward nicely on that. Pritchard back to Mitchell. As Richard settles that with Charlie Bailey running forward now. Pritchard under a bit of pressure there from Houston. He does well. And a little touch there might be a foul. Nothing cool yet from the referees. And no foul. Corner ball here. For Houston drops there for Hawkins who just gets a little chip in which Clink just makes sure he gets rid of and as we see Oakman back onto the court replacing Bailey Sanham drives a shot in a little touch again there from Richards corner ball again for Southern United can they get something from this pressure Southern United as Cooper drops it in for Hawkins. Richard steps forward on him. Sanham. Back to Hawkins again. He chips that forward for Cooper. There's Sanham. Hewson. Can't get past Oakman there. Hawkins. Good defence here from the Dragons. Far side now for Sanham. Gets a shot away but blocked by Oakman. Out for a kick in far side for Southern United. As Sanham now drops for Hawkins. Bit of space for him. Takes a shot save from Clink. And there's Pritchard. Just sets that one roll out far side. Hawkins. Richard steps forward on him. Hawkins shoots, blocked again from Oakman. And Sanham takes a touch, lays it back for Hunter. 
chance for Richards, who does well. Can he get the shot away? Yeah, he can only find Cooper, who drops it off for Sanham. Cooper now. That's better from Southern United. Houston now, but a space for him. Jumps inside. Can he get the shot away? Does, but it's wide of the target. Good opportunity there for Houston as we see Herman onto the court replacing Hawkins. Mitchell now near side for Richards. Six and a half minutes gone. Coach Ben Raffaello calling a 3-1 rotation for Southern with Carlos Harmon coming on. Looks like he's going to play up top as a target. So Sanham sitting up there at the moment. As they reset here to Southern United on defence. The Dragons managing this half well so far. As it's across the face of the goal. And it'll be a keeper's ball, but Hunters seem to be under control with that one. As Herman is up top now. Hewson finds the feet off Herman. He flicks it down for Hewson. Chance here for... Sanham, he just can't get that touch under control. Good opportunity there. It's good work there from Herman and Houston on that far side to create that opportunity. And Michael Sanham just couldn't bring that one under control. Houston's been impressive every time he's come on the court. Um, offers another outlet to, to um, Oban Hawkins as well. I believe he's ex Wellington Phoenix Academy. Played his first bit of futsal a few years ago, so he's really grown into the sport. And there's a kick in here for Southern United. And it's Houston now. Chips this one past Mitchell, but Mitchell does well. Chance here to shoot for Cameron, I think it is, but it's sent away there by Cooper. And it will be a kick in for the Dragons. Dangerous stuff there for Southern United. Oakman. Cameron now. Richards. Richards. Good ball for Cameron. Can he shoot? Can, but it's wide of the target. And I think that'll be a corner ball. Again, good crowd in today. Out in Rangiora. We're back here tomorrow, 10 a.m. for the girls. And 12 p.m. for the boys. Shot coming in, and Richards almost gets that one, but out of court. Far side down for Cooper. Herman, Sanham. Richards does well there to intercept, but Hunter comes forward. As a chance here for Oakman, as Hunter gets big. And saves his own mistake there, really. As Richards now slaps a shot in. As a yellow card being shown here for Michael Sanham, who believes the ball was rolling. He's of course, the ball is meant to be stationary. the Southern United players again probably need to let this one go as Oakman places it expertly and a chance here for Richards but good save there from Fraser Hunter golden opportunity for the Dragons playing well here uh, Canterbury the Southern United frustrated at the moment just can't find a way back into this game. As Hunter dives on that one. Brave goalkeeping from him as he rolls for Cooper. Near side now for Houston. Herman. Just hasn't been able to get himself into the game, really, Carlos Herman. As Sanham. Far side for Houston. Drives a shot in. And it's off the crossbar. The force here for Herman. Can he get a shot away? Trying to turn around. Cameron on him. Richards comes forward. And a corner call. And it's 
Not a yellow card for talk back that time. Just a talking to. Not sure if you are the neutral. As Herman puts that one in, but the referee wasn't ready. As Clink and Mugman come together. As Herman will get us back underway here. Drops for Hawkins, who flicks that shot in, but it's blocked. There's a chance here for Mitchell on his own. Fraser Hunter heads out. And still here for Mitchell, but it's wide of the target. Great goalkeeping there from Fraser Hunter. And they're knocking on the door of other Dragons. Crucial from Fraser Hunter there, and he had to get that right, because anything other than that, was he's off. As Willett back onto the court, and Hulliman. Hawkins now near side for Willett as he tries to dance around but leaves the ball behind and it's out of court. Nine minutes gone in the second half. 2-1 the score in favour of the Dragons. Two fouls for Canary, one foul for Southern as Hawkins tries to get on that loose ball. Open does well, drops it off for Richards. Gives it to Mitchell. Cameron trying to find a way through this defence are the Dragons getting close falls for Richards near side for Oakman he flicks down the line here for as Herman it calls for the foul there on Mitchell two fouls each now Just range here. There's Cameron over the ball. Lays it off here for the shot and Fraser Hunter collects that little flick through there from Mitchell. And they survive again as Willett now drops for one Sanabe. Far side for Hawkins. Can he inject something into this game? Still can't find a way through here, can Southern United. As Willett tries now, dropped there by Plink, but Hawkins can't get it through the legs of the keeper. And it's out for a corner ball. Ten minutes remaining, 2-1 the scoreline in favour of the Dragons. Fallen here for Mitchell. Charges forward, good ball, far side for Cameron, just a little bit behind him, chance to shoot. Numbers back, but... To five that one to Southern United. The Dragons will have to reset. Emberton near side. Richards can't keep that one under control. Another chance there for the Dragons. Tight game here. Still anyone's. As Hulliman far side for Hawkins as he steps back inside. She tries to find the feet of Hulliman, but Mitchell again does well. Will it? Forced out of court by Richards and it will be a kick in Emberton Richards Emberton again Gout set making a good run for it just can't quite get the right ball there over to the stair side as Hawkins will take the kick in Halloran. Willett. Hawkins. Uh, scalps it. Does enough there, I think. No. Nope. A little touch from him. Out of court, far side. Kick in for Southern United. Nine minutes remaining. 2 1. Still in favour of the Dragons. What has this game got in store for us? Ball forward here for Willett. Can't get away, and Cameron just clears that one away. As Hunter just lets that one out on the far side. Go, As Hawkins gets us back underway, Hulliman will step forward, drops it for Hawkins. Hulliman almost gets around. 
Pemberton. Good work there from the number four, Hulliman. Steps back inside. And just a bit of confusion there between players. As Sanham back on the court. Replacing Willett. The Dragons are doing a great job of just holding out Southern at the moment. It's not really giving them the scoring opportunities. And just maintaining position well when they have it. There's Richards now. Drops hook out set near side for Grosvenor. Southern going to have to change something soon because Canterbury are comfortable at the moment. They aren't, Southern aren't creating too much and not giving them too much trouble. They're happy to let Canterbury have the ball, but... With them, with them chasing the game, if they allow us to continue this way, they're going to concede, concede again. There's a shot coming in there from the Dragons, pushed wide by Fraser Hunter. Seven minutes, 50 remaining. Yeah, Zinnis back onto the court, placing Richards. And the set piece is where they're most dangerous. As all the fly grip socks come together. And again, Hunter, good save from him. Sanham, Hawkins, what can he come up with? Still a lot of experience out on the court for Southern United. And on the bench, as Hawkins tries to step around near side for Sanham. Hawkins chips that one forward, drops it off, but it falls there for Gautset, who is dispossessed. And that's a silly foul there. And no yellow showing for that one. Wow, okay. I mean, I'm no referee, Ronan Nike, so I won't get involved in that conversation. It looks pretty intentional. As so we're back underway here with Sanum. Bit of fire out on the court now. As that's easy for Clink. Emberton now. Three fouls for the Dragons, two for Southern United, six minutes 40 remaining. As in a snap, Sanum Ford on him. Far side for Grosvenor. Uses in us again. It's just holding position, winding the clock down. Uh, the Dragons at the moment, and just easily beating the press. As position is turned over, they've probably got to push a little bit harder here to Southern United. They've got to chase that one goal, and then anything can happen. As Sanum now finds the feet of Hawkins. Near side for Diaz. Sanum drops it for Hawkins. Sanum again. And as he shapes to go on the left foot, Hawkins. Shot comes in, good save from Kling. Just pushes that one to the side. And Herman will replace Hawkins. Five minutes, 54 remaining. And as we just... A few court repairs in action on the far side. Great venue out here in Bangiora. Main power stadium. As the physio getting involved in these repairs. Now come the scissors. Expertly done. That'll sit flat beautifully. Great work there from all staff. As we go back live with a corner ball. Shot comes in from Herman. A touch there from Ennis and out of court on the far side. Diaz now. Chips this one forward for Herman. Back heel. But it's enough there from, I think it was Grovner. Got in the way. 
Five minutes, 42 remaining. 2-1 the scoreline. Dragons lead. Sanham steps forward. Good challenge there from Emberton. What can they come up with here? Southern United. Diaz. Sanham. Herman, far side, flicks forward here, but takes a touch. Carlos trying to create something, but just not quite on the wavelength as the rest of his players. As Sandham shoots, good save from Tyler. Clank. Yeah, they just really need to get the combinations right if they're going to create a genuine opportunity. So to probably move that ball a bit quicker here to Southern United. It's good defence here from the Dragons. There's Houston back on the court. I feel like that's the way Houston's been playing. He's the person to get it done. There's a bit of space here for Sanham. As a shot comes in, cries of handball. But referees disagree as that finds its way out of court. As Ennis survives that one. As full press coming now from Southern United. As again, a foul there. As we see the fourth foul there for the Dragons. Herman, what can he do? There's the ball, chance to shoot. It's in! There it is! And it's Diaz who ties things back up here. That main power stadium. Carlos Herman, that man, but a little bit of magic creates opportunity. 2 2. How will the Dragons respond? They've been coasting this half, holding the ball well, and now Southern United have found a way back in. The Dragons have got a score. Momentum's a funny thing in futsal. Uh, sent forward here, but Klink will clear that one up. Far side now for Grovna. Ennis. Pressure coming now from Southern United. Tails are up. Dragons, can they respond? Good ball forward here, chance to shoot. Oh, and just off. I think that was the upright or the crossbar. Took a wee touch there. Fraser Hunter will tell you he had it covered. As they send it long here for Diaz. Who almost brings that under control with his shoulder. Clink sees it out. Four minutes, seven remaining here. 2-2 Two -two the scoreline. The Dragons, four fouls. They get into foul trouble as Bailey plays near side for Innes. Oikawa back onto the court as well. Cameron now. Press coming from Southern United, but they break it. Houston. Loses out there to Bailey. There's Oikawa far side now for Innes. Diaz steps forward on him. Oikawa, good little touch there for Bailey. But Hunter, equal to that, rolls here for Hawkins as he drives forward into the half. Bailey coming on at him. Good work here. And it's coming forward now. Two on one. Chance here for the Dragons. Well, Carl, good save from Hunter. As he got in the right position there early and made the save, is still here for the Dragons. But it's Cooper who gets a foot into that one. Out of court on this near side. Three minutes, 29 remaining. 2 2 the scoreline. Anyone's game here at Main Power Stadium. As Bailey has to replace that on the line. Far side now for Innes. What can the Dragons do? They've had possession. Oikawa turns it's wide of the target. This is the danger. I think of, I wouldn't say sitting on the lead, but not being clinical when they have momentum. Yeah, look, you said it already. Momentum is a funny thing in futsal. Can we in complete control of this game? And now it's anyone's game. As Hawkins, not sure what that was kind of skill move. There's a timeout called here by James Valance for the Dragons. But yes, you're not wrong, Ronan. The Dragons were in complete control. Yeah, very smart timeout there from coach James Valance, recognising that, that little shift um, allows his players to break up that momentum that Southern had built up. Uh, interestingly, that was the first time that um, Okawa's mishit a shot. 
Well, albeit it was quite difficult on the turn, but um, he's been striking the ball really well, so you would have thought he'd at least make the key, uh, work the keeper. Um, but hey, 30 seconds left in this timeout. Uh, coaches will be critical in deciding how this game finishes. Yes. It's a pretty exciting game. If you are in the area, of course, come down to Main Power Stadium tomorrow, 10 a.m. Women's sides will face off again. The Canterbury Pride side won convincingly this today, 13 goals to nil. So Southern United will be looking to bounce back from that. And we're in an absolute humdinger here at the moment. 2-2 the scoreline with three minutes 12 remaining. The Dragons controlling it for long periods of the game and Southern United have found a way back into it. Ennis now. As he steps forward to Ikawa. He's been good this game as the press comes from Stanley. Ennis. Ennis drops it back there, but it's left. Bailey, it's in! What a finish from Charlie Bailey! Can you believe it? Amazing work from Ennis as he just drops it back there for Bailey, who slaps the shot in. And with three minutes to go, the Dragons take the lead again. Three goals to two. What a play there from the Dragons. You can see they play, uh, trained, trained that prior and Ben Cameron calling him for do it. And, um, well, Charlie Bailey's put it in the back of the net. So now it's Southern United's turn to respond. What can they do as Herman? Well, pushed off the ball here as the Dragons come forward. That was the response I'm sure James Valance wanted. Controlling the game for long periods of time as Hawkins gets on this one. Puts it back post, but no one's there. Maybe we touch on the way through it. Was we'll be kicking far side now for Southern United. Two and a half minutes remaining. Charlie Bailey, some shot that was. As he found a way through Fraser Hunter. To be fair, I'll probably be getting out of the way of a shot like that. As Santa puts it in for Herman. As cries were foul, referee doesn't see anything. As the press comes now from Southern United and Cameron forced to put that out of court. Two minutes 23 remaining. Remember it is stop clock. So if the ball is out of court, the time does stop. As Hawkins now trying to find a way around Charlie Bailey. Here he is now again, Hawkins driving forward. Bailey putting in an absolute shift at the moment. As Sanham, chance to shoot, picks his spot, but it's just too high of the target. Golden opportunity there for Southern United. It's not often you see Michael Sanham place a shot. As we see Pritchard back onto the court for the Dragons. And there's full press coming here from Southern United. As handball court. And it does count as a foul. And there's the game. Takes a wee breather here. One minute 58 remaining. All to play for here as Hawkins comes forward on Bailey. He's forced to send it long. And as Hunter does the same. Sends it to Oikawa who heads only as far as Senem. Herman now. Trying to find the feet of Wansanabe up top. It's Senem now. No options he's saying. As he just holds it in play. We tick to one and a half minutes remaining. Hawkins steps inside on Innes. Tries to find the feet of chance there for good save there from Klink. As Herman in a bit of space leaves that forward there for Hawkins. What can he do from the situation? Drives it across the face of the goal, but too far. It's out of court. One minute, 16 remaining. Changes coming now for the Dragons. Can they hold on here? As Innes chips this one, far as Pritchard. Sanham working on him. Expertly dropped back there for Innes. Far side for Bailey. This is what they want to do. Chance here for Bailey. But Hawkins does enough there to force it out of court on this near side. Just over one minute remaining here. Dragons, one goal lead on four fouls. Richards. Zimmerman just drops it back. 
Smart Futsal just running that clock down as Bailey tries to get around Hawkins. Wins the kick in on this near side. 50 seconds remaining as Pritchard. Heavy touch. And loses it as Herman now. Flicks down the line here for Hawkins. There's a great challenge there from Richards. There's Hawkins. That's the deck. This one's definitely hurt on the court. As Herman just slaps that one in. Takes a wee touch on the way out will be a corner. And again, Clink. Hawkins gets a shot in. Blocked there by Mitchell. Hawkins still. Drops for Sanham. 38 seconds remaining. That's out from Zimmerman. Far side. 3-2, still the scoreline. The Dragons holding on here against Southern United. 31 seconds remaining. Sanham. Wansanabe. Hawkins. And a foul there. That's the fifth foul. Any more after this. And they do get a chance to go for goal. Wow. What have we got in store here for this last 29 seconds? James Valance down on one knee. Got to get surely bring Adam Houston onto the game and as well to take players on, draw that foul if you can't score. As Herman takes a shot, blocked there. Hawkins shot in, but it's wide. 25 seconds remaining. They've got to do full press here as Clint goes long. Pritchard holds it up nicely. I have to keep it here to the Dragons. Good challenge there from Sanham. As it's out of court with 17 seconds remaining. They don't want to give away a silly foul here to the Dragons. I think this home crowd would like it. As it's out of court there from Pritchard. 14 seconds remaining. Someone's got to take someone on. Southern United need to draw that foul. 14 seconds remaining. Do we have any drama in store here? At Main Power Stadium as Sanham goes long. Good hit there from Richards. Nine seconds remaining. Kick in for Southern United. Wansanabe blocked there. Mitchell gets rid of it. Hunter will send this one long. Goes for goal. What can they do? Hit her up. Out of court with just under one second remaining. And they're going to have to absolutely smash this shot in. As even Fraser Hunter joins. Herman. Chance. And time expires. And the Dragons have done it. They take this one. Three goals to two. And we'll be back tomorrow to do it again. What a pleasure it's been to call you through this one and this morning's game. We'll be back tomorrow from 10 a.m. Until then, enjoy your day. Ford has a long history of building the cars you love while leading the charge on innovation. Harnessing the strength, style and capability you know and electrifying it. Because every generation has its own defining moments. The Ford EV and hybrid range and coming soon, the Mustang Mark E. Ford, built for now, ready for tomorrow. The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, 
but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. The stalk represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard, to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. One brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whānau where everyone is welcome. Rosine has been voted New Zealand's most trusted paint brand every year for the last 11 years. Rosine, the Paint Kiwis Trust for years and years.